both of these guys placed second place at the Mr. Olympia event. Kai Green, 2013. Derek Lunsford, 2022. I've been doing little strings of matches, strings of videos of three. The three, the top three at the 2022 versus 2002. 2022 prevailed. But so far, 2013 is better than 2002. Of course, Dennis Wolf did battle with Nick Walker. And here we have a nice little round robin tournament with Kai Green, the big powerhouse himself, a huge big man. What was he? 200 and some? 200 and some? Not gonna, not gonna reveal any uh, numbers here because usually three or four people get into a fist fight in the comment section below arguing about heights and weights. But the thing of it is, guys, Kai Green was packing heat here at the 2013 Mr. Olympia event. And I love Kai. He's watched my videos. He's commented. I respect this guy. But I would be remiss not to mention the 13 buckets of chicken that Kai Green must have eaten. Had to be 300 pounds, guys. Had to be 300 pounds. And on Derek Lunsford's side, this is the biggest bubble gut pitcher I could find of Derek Lunsford. This is him sticking his gut out. This is Derek Lunsford's bubble gut, guys. So take a picture now. It ain't going to get any worse than this. Let's go through these shots, beginning, of course, with the front double bicep pose. And I suppose Kai Green is taking Derek Lunsford to school in this one. Keeping in mind, guys, we've seen those bubble gut pitchers. And I know they're not part of the mandatories, but we've seen them. We've seen them. I'm sure Kai himself, he realizes that he had a bubble gut at the 2013 Mr. Olympia event. Just like Phil did the following year, but Phil won his match, didn't he? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, got taken out of the situation here. Of course, Derek has a vacuum. It's very impressive. But I mean size, guys, size. Go to the front lat spread. Kai Green, much like uh, Dorian Yates, even a Ronnie Coleman, even a Ronnie Coleman, Dennis Wolf. this front lat spread is one of their best shots. I mean, uh, Lee Haney as well. Some of the great ones, a lot of the great ones. Arnold's front lat spread was awesome. Kai is crushing, crushing Derek Lunsford. So I kind of gave you guys that, the, the gut shot at the first, just to ease you into this matchup. Because there's no way Derek Lunsford can see to swing a punch after these first two shots. Kai is absolutely all over him. Like a big beast. Side chest development. Now here is where we can gauge. Where we can see. What does the midsection mean to you? People say, I mean, for instance, Sean Clarita. He's not going to beat Big Ramy. He's too small. There's too much of a size advantage. Well, is there that much equal in uh, condition advantage? And that's the thing, guys. Kai's a whole lot bigger, but Derek has a fantastic midsection. Now the side tricep, Derek still has a better midsection, but Kai's is in check. It is under control. And no, he's not beating Derek in the, in the midsection, but look at the legs, guys. Look at the tricep, and Kai not known for a good tricep piece of meat. Should be. It is a nice big hunk of meat. Yeah, see? <laughs> Been saying that all night. Edward G. Robinson. Go to the back. Rear lat spread. Should make that my rear lat spread. Yeah. I, I think I got a letter from Edward G. Robinson's uh, lawyer, though. Hmm? I think he, they copyrighted the meows. So um, I might not be able to do meow after this video. Condition edge. Very surprising. Goes to Derek. But was Kai really that peeled? His hamstrings. He's got a good condition. He's got a good condition. His rear lat spread was never my favorite. Actually, this is from the finals for Kai. Had to resort to this pitcher here. There was no rear lat spread from the uh, the prejudging. And I think Kai was better at the prejudging, to be honest with you. Now, come on. Go to the rear double biceps. And Kai should be taking this one home. Derek, guys, him and... Oh, gosh darn it. Um, Hattie Shupin. 
they're littler guys, but they're they're structures. You know, they they look big in certain shots. They're they're clavicles. They're 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 back shots. Are holding their own against these legends. Is he beating Kai? That's not what I'm saying. Or so saying. All I'm saying is Derek is more more than holding his own. I think, considering he's winning in the conditioning department, both back shots, even the rear double. Kai is etched in in history, though, with this shot. Very impressive shot. Go to the abs and thigh. And this one hangs in the balance like a big piece of rebar hanging off a piece of uh or concrete hanging off a piece of rebar see i tried to talk fancy there didn't work got into an accident but you keep going you keep going just like kai green i mean yeah he had that gut in the first shot but here in the abs and thigh he looks pretty darn good considering the wheel advantage too wow wow what a beast what a beast in the most muscular as well. So what do you think, guys? Is this a situation where Kai loses right from the get-go, like a Dory Nates with a torn bicep? Well, that that's another question. What's worse, torn bicep or a bubble gut? Torn bicep's not really your fault. You can't do anything about it. Vice versa, you, you, you should be able to do something about it. Here's the crab position. Now, guys, this was a difficult one for me to do. To talk about Kai Green saying he had a, had a bubble gut. This guy's a hero to me. He's an artist. I fashion myself as a bit of an artist. He's weird. Need I say? Need I say? With my impressions and such. Me and Kai, Kai never were bosom buddies. Except, you know, he has the muscle. and I had lack of muscle. So yeah, I could go out here and wipe his butt and say, Oh, Kai Green, look at how good he looks. Some of the best biceps in the game. Look at this. And quad uh, feathering. Nobody's touching this guy. He's a beast. He's a beast. We don't do that here at Mark's Max Muscle. We're kind of mean. Of course, he is still defeating Derek Lunsford. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. I don't know what the heck a gander is, but I always thought a gander was what you do to a woman's cleavage. When she walks by, you take a little gander. But anyway, anyway, soft, less separation. Hope my wife doesn't hear this one. My soul, my soul. Oh, anyway, yeah, soft, no, no separation for Derek Lunsford. So this one does, th th it hangs in the balance. If you go by all the shots, I am going to go with Kai Green. Absolutely, absolutely. Kai Green is just too much. He's just too... Muscular for Derek Lunsford. But those bubble gut pitchers, guys. The bubble gut. Triple trouble, double, double. I'm going to tell you something right now. And this is in writing. Today, Kai Green, with this bubble, triple trouble, on the stage, 2023, two, whatever, last year, they would have gave him a loss because of the gut didn't matter in 2013 or in 14 evidently i mean phil calmed down on the gut in 2015 kind of took the attention away from it he got away with it up until 2018 and no more bubble guts guys they won't put up with it anymore even nick walker he kind of letting his out and he got fourth so or third so you figure that one out you figure that one out so what's my decision on this 2013 kai wins today they're going to give it to Derek because of the midsection. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. I loved Kai. He was a force. If he had to just suck that gut in like Mike Menzer, he would have won for sure. He would have won. Well, no, he wouldn't have beat Phil 2013, but Derek. Derek, he would have. Hit thumbs up, guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll do more impressions like Edward G. Robinson. Meow, see, see, meow, 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 see, 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 meow, see, meow, see, see, meow, see, meow, 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 meow.